All right, back at it again in the Fallout New Vegas part two. We got, uh, we have to save Prim. We gotta build goddamn paper saver. But first, uh, I'm gonna break into this guy's house. See what he's got in here. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Yep. A chessboard, or, yeah, you know, yeah, chessboard. <coughs> I was gonna say checkers, but it's essentially the same thing. Same board. Sounds 22. 20 gauge. Not bad. Pretty shit building. Not worth looting, almost. <coughs> Bro. Bro. I don't even know why I'm doing that. There's, it serves no purpose. Alright, so we're going to be getting a lot of varmint rifles here, even some 9 mils as well. So, our varmint rifle will be in pretty damn good condition for the entirety of, well, for a good bit, good bit of time. Um, yeah. There's some, two stacks of 308 in here, so 48 rounds of 308. And then there's two cowboy repeaters. There's one underneath the reloading bench, and there's one underneath the bed. Right here. Yoink. There's also the sheriff outfit. Sheriff duster, sheriff uh, hat as well. Kind of good items. I forget what the duster does, but I know the hat gives you perception. Uh, it gives you charisma plus one and plus five to guns, but it gives you no protection. That's the thing. It's absolutely no protection at all. No damage resistance and no damage threshold. So there should be at least two guys, yeah, out here. We've already killed one of them, and that's the other. And then there's going to be one guy up on the roller coaster. You can see him, like, right there. For three. Aw. Kobe. Aw. Kobe. Aw. Kobe. All right. I don't even think I'm hitting him, to be honest with you. Like, I literally think my bullets are hitting wood. Um, but it's fine. Yeah, see, varmint rifle here, and then this guy should have had a varmint rifle as well. Yep, they had dynamite as well. I mean, they're convicts, so they're convicts, but they're technically like powder gangers, but they're not allied with powder gangers. They're, they split off from the main group, so they're no longer powder gangers, but they were powder gangers. That's why they have dynamite on them. Not every uh, human NPC carries dynamite. This guy's a dumbass. Come on, you. Alright. You think I can't get up here? Just because it's a little broken and a little fucky? You underestimate my parkour. No, you're not. <gasps> you try to run away. Give me that leg. All right, and there will be one more person on top of the roller coaster. Uh, but he's on the other side. So there's always one on the left side, and then there's always one on the right side. I don't need that. I don't need the charisma gun, so I'm not going to use it. See, look, our varmint rifle's already, like, pretty much maxed out. We're gonna drop the vault jumpsuit, because I do not need it. And this leather armor is kind of useless. Yeah, I got that from Chet. I'm dropping that, too. That's just too much weight. The leather armor weighs way too much. It weighs 15 units, man. That's ridiculous. So you can see that the roller coaster breaks here. Gotta jump off. I'm gonna break my legs. It's okay. 
We don't gotta jump off there. Could have just gone back around and you know been smart, but I'm not smart, so and nor do I care, so it's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that wasteland survival guide. I forgot to use it last time. Let's go ahead and use the doctor's bag on our foot. Land on the dumpster. There we go. If I had landed any like further down, I probably would have taken damage. And there is one more guy. He's uh, probably over there. I actually don't see him. Like at all. Which means he's up here. Wait, what? Where is this dude? I've never not had this guy be here. So there's supposed to be two convicts on the roller coaster total. One on the right side, one on the left. And then there's supposed to be two convicts. Oh, there he is. Yes, he's all the way up there. I can't nail him. Oh, I nailed him right there. Yeah, I'd like it very much if he would just come down here so I don't have to go all the way over there. Oh, fall. Yes. Yes. Dude. <laughs> That's it. We are not going to be searching the Bison Steve Hotel because I don't care. Um, eh, what I mean is, like, I'm not I'm not searching the like upper levels. It's not worth it, really. There's a few drugs up there, like there's some Chad, some Psycho, um, stuff like that, but nothing like overly worth it, really. Um, we could go into the Vicky Vance Casino and talk to Nash. But I know how to I know how to keep going on, so let's just keep going forward. Now there is a terminal over here that you could use to unlock this door. Or you can um lockpick it if you have enough lock uh lock picking. All right, so because is not it whatsoever. Noted, because because. Ah, oh, come on, give me the, give me the, give me the point. Let me do it again, please. Yeah, well. I've already said my piece about hacking, and I'm probably not gonna fucking. Sit here and waste my my time. So I'm good. <laughs> it died. All right then. There's no reason to take any varmint rifles after. You repair yours because they don't sell for anything. They're not worth at all. There is a barter book right there, which is really good. <coughs> and I know there's a I know there's a perk in the game, and it's like, oh, uh, d yeah, t take the perk to get the one extra point. No, I don't care. No, 
It's fine. I, I don't need it. <coughs> I do not need that perk. It's honestly, it's not even worth grabbing either because, um, The perk only gives you one point, and then the magazines are doubled, so they, they do 20 instead of 10, which is good, but... I don't think it's not, I don't think it's worth a perk point just for one extra point in a... One extra point in a, uh, a skill, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Nice. Alright, now there's some purified water in here. Um, there's some meds. Oops. <coughs> I wish my throat would fucking stop, bro. Some meds right there on the wall, and then there's more water right here. All right, we have Deputy Beagle here. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being Just held hostage. This. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful mm. if you would set me free. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Alright, you don't need to pass that check. Um, <clears throat> it's just a way to get him to help you if you need it. Like, if you were to sneak your way in here, um, there is a maintenance key. Uh, I believe the maintenance key is behind that, lo that locked uh, terminal door. <clears throat> so you'd have to get the key, or I believe you could lockpick it, actually. Let me check. I believe it's this door. Yeah, you could lockpick this. So you just lockpick it. You just sneaky, sneaky your way. And then you go over there, and that's where Deputy Beagle is. If you sneak your way in there, you could have him fight and help you. I've never done it that way, mainly because... I don't know. They're they're really easy to kill. You like never need help. So not to say that if you do need help, you suck at the game. No, but I've just stay there. Played it. His voice is different. What the fuck? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out <coughs> of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Well, uh... I'll figure that out, won't I? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the <coughs> NCR so close by... You may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. It's because they're spread thin. The NCR don't have as many men uh, manpower to do the things they want to do. I will help bring Law back. You will? That's just <coughs> marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. No, it's not. You'd be under the NCR's jurisdiction and you would have to listen to you, everything that they say without question or be shot, pretty much. Hmm. 
So, I'm, I mean, we're done. You could have gone in here and talked to Johnson Nash. He'll stop you. Um, I don't know what it was brought like you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Yeah, well, uh, we already know. Hey there. Yeah, dude, his his little his like idle voice is different than um. Howdy, can partner. I do this? Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yep, you can reprogram Slim. So if you were to talk to Johnson Nash, uh, you could talk to him about bringing Law back to Prim. He'll tell you about the NCR, um, that they might not want to be under martial law. Uh, pretty sure. He'll say that. <clears throat> or you can go get Myers, but Myers is a convict, and he's like, that might not be the best choice. As far as I know, there are only three options for this quest. I've only found three. Um, I'll look it up uh, sometime later and figure it out. But you can reprogram Prim Slim, <coughs> uh, which is pretty easy. Science of 30, <coughs> or three fission batteries and four conductors, which you can find fission batteries pretty easily early on. I know there's a few in Victor's shack, and I believe there's some even in Prim. The conductors, on the other hand, I don't know. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeehaw! Alright, and we are done. That was uh, bringing law back to Prim. It's that easy. Um, if you talk about, the, if you uh, ask for the like tour of the Vicky and Vance Casino, Vicky and Vance is, uh, I believe, supposed to be based off of Bonnie and Clyde. Um, the crime spree lovers that fucking went around doing whatever the fuck they want. I don't know a whole lot about them, to be honest. But, uh, this talks about the 9mm submachine gun preserved in this glass. Uh, this was Vance's 9mm submachine gun, which you can actually get in the game. Which I might actually get. I've never used it before. Uh, we got 50 melee, which is good. Let's go ahead and bump up our guns. And put some points into barter. And put these last two points into... Mm, put them into medicine. Alright, we did pretty much everything here. Um, if you talk to Deputy Beagle, he'll, he'll be a little salty because he's not a deputy anymore because of Prim Slim. You can also get your first companion, uh, Eddie, right here, if you really want him. Try to fix it. Uh, repair 65 or higher with electronics. You need science 55 or higher, or you can repair him with parts. Um... I forget what the actual parts are. I believe it's scrap metal, scrap electronics, a fission battery, and a conductor. I, I know you definitely need a fission battery. But you need, like, varying amounts of this stuff. Like, it's not just one, one of each. You need, like, four fission batteries or, like, three... Uh, scrap electronics, so shit like that. Now we can use Chance's knife, um, perfectly. Go ahead and repair our 9 mil. We've already run into what the, what was, whatever his name was, um, ah, uh, damn, what was his name? Uh, Malcolm Holmes. And our varmint rifle's fully repaired, so we don't need to carry that spare one, because it's just going to be too heavy. There's no point in doing that. Um, alright. We're good to go. Oh yeah, there's a little safe right here. You could loot the rest of this town. There's not a whole lot um, here. But it's not worth like just bypassing it all altogether as well. Like There's actually some good stuff here. There's some decent stuff. There's the skill book in the Bison Steve, which is pretty good. Uh, there's the ammo boxes by the NCR, which I looted. There's also some magazines in uh, the skill book. I mean, magazine book. Magazine, sorry. Magazine up here with some ammo boxes as well, but those are free. You can take those. Uh, there's also mail draw boxes that have random stuff. There's the 48 rounds. Yeah, the two boxes of 308 in the deputy's house, along with the two cowboy repeaters if you want a cowboy repeater. Cowboy repeater is not a bad weapon, especially if you're going for like more of a lever action revolver kind of build with the cowboy perk. It is actually pretty pretty good. Um, 
I'm not going to be doing really anything that gives me reputation with the NCR right now. I will do it later, but not right this minute. Um, <clears throat> it'll be way later, like when I'm done with all the DLCs. And the reason being is there's a specific... in When you finish the Lonesome Road DLC, you get a specific uh, outfit. Uh, depending on how much reputation you have with the four major factions being Caesar's Legion, NCR, House, or I guess the three main being NCR, Legion, and the ho and House. Um, or if you have neutral with all of them, you can get uh, the independent New Vegas uh, Courier Duster. It's, it's called the Independent Courier Duster, which is, um, it has like a, a spade on the back. It's like a black spade on the back, and then it has 21 on it. Um, and then if you had the Caesar's Legion or NCR, it would be a bull or a bear, um, respectively. If you come in here, you can get a bunch of grenades. There's pork and beans right there. Couriers, uh, like a six fucking thing on the wall. There's supposed to be some coyotes up here. I just can't really see them because of the foliage. Uh, I'm going to grab this location because we're going to come back here for when we do the DLC. Oh, there's some graves over here. I didn't know that. Oh, hey, a coyote. Did I grab it? No. Yeah, this is for the Lonesome Road DLC. We'll uh, be coming back here. Uh, not too long really some some 12 gauge in there that's actually kind of good we won't be using 12 gauge for quite some time but if you can actually stock up on some it's it, it's really good um 12 gauge is very very good ammo <coughs> i mean it's just you know better than 20 <laughs> 20 gauge is not like dog shit but it's uh you know it's 20 gauge Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's throw a grenade. <laughs> or let's throw a dynamite. That went a little too far. Oh, I killed them both. Nah, worth it. Uh, and if you come over here, you can find an NCR trooper uh, with an NCR outfit on, which is kind of cool. Or, like, um, obviously with an NCR outfit on. But, I mean, you can find him with a service rifle, which is kind of cool, which is what I meant to say. So, if you want a service rifle, which is a semi-auto 5.56 instead of the varmint rifle, which is bolt action, this is pretty good. Um, there's also the NCR trooper armor on him, which you can use, which is faction armor. However, we're going to take this and we're going to end up using it later, and I'll show you how. Some more ammo in there. I believe that microfusion was too heavy. Um, yeah, we're at sixty microfusion. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to sell them because we're gonna run into some vendors in not too long. Um, damn it, man. I don't want to drop these either. These are good. Alright, we'll drop this instead. We'll drop we'll drop the armored um bolt suit. Because if I get any lightweight um armor or if I get any leather armor, I can repair my lightweight leather armor with it. Uh, this is what I love about New Vegas, dude. Just I mean just really I guess any Fallout game. Just no matter how many times you play it, you can always find something new that you haven't found before. Some area, some location, some item. I love it. That's what I love about RPGs. Alright, there's... Uh, there's a Sunset uh, Sarsaparilla Star Cap right here. Which is pretty good. I also picked up one in the Bison Steve. I don't know who was shooting. That was actually quite concerning. Fighting a ghoul? Who are you? 
Oh, they're oh, they got folded. I have no idea who that was. Obviously, it wasn't a companion or anything. That's uh, you know, that's a fair point. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to be careful around here. There's a bunch of ghouls around here. This is the first area you can run into ghouls. Um, oh, he's just a prospector. Okay. I'll take your ammo. Sorry, bud. You're dead. Hey, he did kill a j he d he killed a ghoul before he went down though. Um, I believe it's the first area you can run into ghouls. I mean, if you go this way, you're gonna run into ghouls. Uh, there are convicts usually along this road. There's usually two. I usually run into two. I'm just zooming in. Yeah, see right there. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to like find them by zooming in and increasing my render distance. There's one. I'm a god. Alright, let's start using this 556. We have quite a bit of it. <coughs> we'll loot these guys for money and ammo. Uh, you were the guy I headshotted. You were the other guy. Alright, we're gonna have to drop something. Yeah, let's give him the broad machete. It's not really that good, but... I mean... It, it doesn't... It, well, it, it's not that it's not good. I meant... Uh, what I meant to say was that it's not that heavy. But it helps a little, you know? There is also a leader in another... Um gang member back here. I can't nail this guy. Here's the Ivanpah Dry Lake. Now there's the now there's the leader. She's still back there. <coughs> Now, if you get too close to this building, you're gonna get jumped on uh, by these guys. They're gonna they're gonna jump you and try to kill you. I think my bullets are being eaten by that honey mes mesquite uh, thing. I don't know where my bullet was going. I guess my gun was swinging too much and it just went off to the side. <coughs> it's fine. She looked like she had a 10 mil. Yeah, she did. I'm not going to take it. Uh, so yeah, there's some leather armor. Um, if I wanted to, I could repair my... <coughs> my, uh, my armor with that leather armor. <coughs> Now, something to note. There's going to be two people and a mantis as soon as you walk in through here. I'm going to go for you because you have a gun. I don't know what the other lady has. I can't see. Ah, oh. oh, she blocked the shot. You like that? Her AI fucked up. I guess she was trying to pick up the gun to fight me, but it just her AI just took a took a shit. <laughs> I assume that's what she was trying to do, was trying to pick up the gun. Ooh, 40 millimeter grenades. Nice. Very good. We'll be using those very, very soon. <coughs> I'm gonna drop this sounds twenty two. It doesn't weigh a lot, but just uh, it actually weighs three units. That's actually kind of a bit, kind of a bit. Every bit helps. Take those. <coughs> Come in here. There's another med box right here. You can check it. You might have something. Come in here. Mantis. Two Hydra on the desk. Make sure you grab that. Also, I did grab a Guns and Bullets uh, skill book. There's also a Star Cap in here.
Yeah, you can see how having like little to no strength is really a negative. I only have like five strength. Yeah, I only have five strength. It's 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 it sucks. It's very bad. <laughs> we'll be getting more strength and more carry weight when we level up, but for right now we're just gonna have to pretty much suffer. Which is unfortunate. Gonna eat some food, drink a little bit of water, use this magazine, clear up my my, my weight a little bit. Ten mil, I shouldn't have grabbed that, but whatever. I do have a ten millimeter pistol. The problem is, is I just don't have the weight to really use it. You know. Just checking my guns. You know what? I'll take your ammo. <clears throat> now, if you stay close to the lake, you'll end up getting attacked by uh, giant ants. And so if you want to avoid that, kind of stick to the right, but be careful of, well, what's on your right. You might run into a rad scorpion or a... Uh, You might run into a rad scorpion or a ghoul if you're not careful. Speaking of rad scorpions, there's going to be a few up here in this uh, pit stop area. <coughs> sometimes they're small rad scorpions, sometimes they're big, like, not big rad scorpions, but normal rad scorpions. Sometimes they're small, sometimes they're normal, some... I've never ran into a giant one, though. Yeah, see, there's a normal one right there. I'll marry you. There we go. I don't know why it's scared of me, lol. Now, I would recommend not going up this hill. Uh, and over in this area, because there are a bunch of giant red scorpions there, and you'll probably die. Most likely, you'll die. Uh, there's some. Um, there's a star cap in here. There's a. Um, uh, what's it called? A unarmed uh, skill book in here called the Pugilism Illustrated. You can go ahead and yoink that. There's some uh, some money on the counter. There's a cash register. There's some food in here. Not a lot of it I can't take. Microfusion cells, I'm over encumbered because they're quite heavy, but they do sell for quite a bit. Um, a locked gun cabinet I can't get in. I've, I've, n I don't think I've ever opened that. I would assume it's just a random assortment of weaponry based on level. Um, yeah, I haven't opened it. Yeah, so don't go to the northwest. Um, we'll do a couple missions here, but I don't want to do anything that's going to make me liked by the NCR. Which is... Yeah, see, I said don't go to northwest, but look at what I'm doing. I'm being stupid. Also, that body is glitching out hardcore. See, 
do as I say, not as I do. Um, there's two quests you can get here, and a third once you, um, go back. I will grab the quests, but I just won't turn them in. Hey there. Need any I'll turn in, uh, probably one of them. I think one of them's fine. Uh, this guy has some, um, caps, which I want, and I'm also going to give him this incinerator to clean up a little bit of my inventory. Uh, give him this caravan shotgun I have, this cowboy repeater I have, because I'm not going to use him. He can have some of this dynamite. But yeah, he's almost maxed out. Does he have anything good? Nothing in the way of weaponry. Nothing in the way of armor. He's got three stim packs, which is good. Laser pistol combat sights. <laughs> Baseball bat cork core. Oh, it increases uh, attack speed. And some ammo. Oh yeah, I also have this plasma rifle. There, let me get rid of that. Um, there's usually a traveling merchant up here, which we did encounter one. Hey there. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and grab the missions, real quick. Let's go in here. We're gonna find Ranger Jackson. He's usually back here. Yep, there he is, right there. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin tank. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Hell? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. You look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. <clears throat> I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you. Now you hey. can uh, turn in this mission and not get your reward, which I might avoid because I don't have a lot of space. I don't have a lot of carry weight, man. I'm not caring a whole lot, which sucks. Look at that shiny moon. Hello, moon. I don't know what that was. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to come down here and uh, pretty much kill some ants. That's about it. Ant killing. We're gonna kill some ants. Mm -mm -mm. There should be two giant worker ants, or soldier ants rather. Two giant soldier ants, and then there should be about five or six, um, s like worker ants. <clears throat> and you know what? I got some splode. Let's use some splode, shall we? Some boom. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's some fresh potatoes. Those are good food. Mm. Nevada agave fruit. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. Obi. Not nah, shit.
Oh, we're done. I didn't get the other mission up there. I totally forgot to grab the other mission. Now, I don't want to turn these missions in if I'm going to get reputation with the NCR. Um, even though the XP is really worth it. Because <laughs> um, I, I don't want to be liked by the NCR. I want to stay neutral so I can get the, uh, the item that I want. And if I don't end up getting the item I want, I'm just going to spawn it in and delete the other one. Hello. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Take care. Cool your heels over in the... Yeah, we did get fame, however, we didn't increase in actual reputation. We could see that. Well, we could do this easier with like this. We're still neutral, which is good. We don't want to gain any reputation. We're not. We don't literally want to gain a reputation, um... With the NCR. <laughs> Heard your footsteps coming up the ramp. Didn't sound like a trooper or one of the merchants. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking <clears throat> a bit. And your eyes are good. You a courier? If so. I think there's trouble in For some reason, she reset her dialogue. I don't know why. While I, I just skipped it. Away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, <coughs> I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Mind yourself on the plank going down. All right, so this is the other quest. Um, you can't actually sneak up here if your sneak is good enough. And you could not get detected by her, and she'll actually give you some good dialogue. Or some unique dialogue, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna fucking, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, I don't care. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's cool. Like, I, I've seen the videos. I don't remember who it was that I watched, but I did see a video of, uh, what she says. She says pretty much, yeah, didn't hear you coming up. You don't broadcast your movements. I like that. Something along those lines. I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. I never knew about that because I never attempted sneaking up there. <laughs> because when I'm playing this game, I start off with such low skills and I usually do these uh, quests just for the experience. So I can start like, you know, getting up there in levels so I can actually do things. But yeah. There's always a dead rad scorpion here. I don't know why. I assume it's to say like these ants over here killed it, but I don't know about that. Oh, I killed that third one through the shrub. I'm a gamer. Yeah, I'm a gamer. What of it? God damn, I'm a fucking silent devil. I'm a demon. Oh. Silent devil. I'm a silent killer. I missed that last shot. No. Bad ant. No. Bad. And, uh, yeah, I did, um, I did not get my reward from Ranger Jackson. I, uh, deliberately avoided it so I would have more carry weight.
really killing them just for experience. It's the only reason. Uh, let's see. Let's start bumping up our medicine to 50. Let's start bumping up our lockpick. And then we're going to take an intense training perk. And then we're going to up our strength for more carry weight. We're going to up our strength a couple times with that. Mainly just our strength. I might do something else, but it's going to be strength for the majority. Alright, we did pick up some 40 millimeter grenades, so we're going to actually equip this. And we're going to run up here on the left. We're going to run into a group of enemies. We're going to launch a grenade. Blop. And we're going to launch another grenade. I missed. Blow them up. I'm trying to hit your face. There we go. Alright, and he does have metal armor, which is quite good to sell. Um, but it is very heavy. It's a whole 30 uh, pounds. Which is quite heavy. Mentats, take any drugs you can get. Mentats, Jet, Psycho, they help so much with uh, killing enemies. They help so much. And Jet, less. Um, but Psycho definitely helps a lot. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I had this trooper armor. We, we, we kind of need that. It's not like super important, but it is pretty useful. I'm gonna take those frag nades. This should be a mine box. Yep. Um, there's gonna be another group of enemies we're gonna run into. I'm gonna get these grenades ready. Oh, hey, I had it. I killed you. Lol. Oh, that's one. Oh, where'd the grenade landed behind me? Oh, there's supposed to be more than just you. What the hell? That's so weird. Why was there only you? See, you can already see that one point in the strength is already doing work. It's amazing. It's already useful. And it's only one point. We're only one point in. Some enemies over here. You weren't supposed to be up here. That's so weird. She's the jackal gang leader. She's supposed to be down there with her group that I just killed. I want your bottle caps. Um, yeah, if you decide to listen to him, he just tell and tells you, he's like, did you see that, that crazy bitch attacked me? What the hell? And then you can read his journal, and his journal will say, uh... His journal will say that uh, he has a lucky necklace, and that's uh, the Sunset sta Sarsaparilla Star Caps. He made a necklace out of it. And the lady, which if I can find her body, she's somewhere around here somewhere. Purple-haired, uh, I guess Caucasian, I can't really remember. But I know she has purple hair. They usually fight up around here. And it would have been good to find her, um, but find them fighting both alive so then I could have, like, a, pretty much an area to know where her damn corpse might be. Oh, that might be it right there. Oh, yeah, that is it. There she is. Jacqueline. She has more star caps on her. Just to kind of boost you so you're not, like, running all over the place like, oh my god, where are all these star caps? What the fuck? Can 
gonna go ahead and take some stim packs. Um, and yeah, the reason I killed that guy immediately is I didn't want to deal with his dialogue because there's no quest involved with it. And I just wanted him dead because I wanted his caps. This guy never gets to live. I always kill him. I don't want to hear his dialogue either, so he dies. We're going to run into the store real quick. Unlocked door. Oh, it goes upstairs. Not gonna lie, I didn't even know there were some stairs. Doesn't seem to be anything really in here. Then I missed the obvious fucking safe staring right at me. <laughs> bathroom with nothing in it besides some dirty ass water. Literal ass water. Hmm. What is the point of that? I mean, I got two doctor's bags, which is good. I'm not trying to discredit that, but like, there's nothing here. Eh, okay. I mean, there's this guy, but he's uh, kind of useless. Oh, hey, it sells me weekly. Okay, there was something here. <laughs> I literally didn't see it. Some dirty water right there. I'll just take the one bottle. If there's more than one, I'll just avoid it. Is that a Nuka Cola sign? It is. That's sick. All right, let's talk to this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? First, I get my legs smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live. But they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? Bullshit. You're holding. You just want it all for yourself. Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cause it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs and the winner, they let go free. Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Jesus. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. All right. We want that quest. And just because it's a uh, quite simple uh, quest. Easy to do. 
There's not much reason to really... I mean, you don't have to do it. I only do it just because I have nothing better to do. Mercy killing these guys because they're crucified. God, they're so stupid. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Where to begin? That they are weak? And we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. I think your eyes will see more than I could ever tell you. Take your time. Enjoy the sights. No, I don't think I will. All right, we're gonna go into the town hall real quick. We're gonna get attacked by a bunch of Legion Mongols. Regardless if we have uh, good or bad reputation, they're gonna attack us. There's nothing that we can do about it. Some of the bodies are booby-trapped with landmines. We don't really have to worry about it. We're just going to the top floor. That's what we're looking for is the top floor. Which is up here. And then we're looking for the mayor's office, which is over here. Mayor. And then on his desk is some Mentats, two programmers digest, and a big book of science. And there's also a laser pistol pistol and a future weapons today right there uh, in this cabinet. And then this locked door, which I don't know what that goes to. It's not connected to the terminal. The terminal's just got to be journal entries. Reset mainframe connection. Huh. Handshaking complete. I don't know. Not sure. I just came here for the skill book. I don't want to. I don't want to lockpick anything. I'm not. I'm not here to loot. I'm just here to grab that and get out. That's it. About the knife, we're probably gonna run into more dogs. There's some doggies over there. Ah! Thought I saw one over there, but I didn't. I did see one over there. Fuck you, bitch ass dog. Alright, when we're done here, we can go back to Ghost, uh, go turn in the quest. Uh, and you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna check this house. It's, uh, some decent food on the table. A lot of blood. Nothing that looks of interest. Some turpentine on the little wall here. Wrench, some cigarettes. Toolbox. Nothing in here. Pork and beans, which is good. Eh, it's like okay food. It's not bad. I'm not taking it though, cause uh, weight. Cause I have like 200 units or 200 pounds. Yeah, 204 out of 10. 210, I mean. Um, we're not gonna walk all the way back there because I'm not psychotic we're just gonna fast travel and then I'm gonna quick save uh, turn in this quest heard you helped out Jackson thanks for that caravans are still waiting for clearance to move out but at least there's movement what there's no way we're miles from the Colorado they 
They aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside the borders. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're doomed. Thanks for bringing the word. Even if the news is bad, I'll let the men know. Alright, there shouldn't be any rep gain for that at all. And there was none. Hello. We're gonna come up here and go to Ghost. She will give us reputation, but I don't want to turn this in. You check out the Nipton Town if, Hall here. Um, Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Yeah, Legion killed everybody. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. Nope. That's not outside the border. They're moving in. And fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... <sighs> Alright. Thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Well, that's all. I'll be going. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back. Even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting. But, orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell. And all I can do is sit here and watch. Yeah, we should get rep for that. Yeah, we got rep, but we didn't actually increase in uh, reputation. We're still neutral, which is good. Which is what we want. We don't want to be. We don't want to. We don't want to be liked or accepted because if we have positive reputation, I can't get the uh, item I want in the Lonesome Road DLC. Even if I become like. <clears throat> Even if I end up nuking them and being vilified, uh, I still get I still get that piece of armor that I don't want. Anyways, moving back to Nipton. Let's just uh, quickly fast travel there. And we're going to pretty much avoid this whole thing here. I don't want to go that way. Mainly because I, I don't want to deal with the... Uh, I don't want to deal with the damn. Uh, there's uh, there's Viper Gang, like in the mountains, like here and here along this road, and they will just pretty much try to well they'll ambush you. Like I was gonna say assassinate, they're gonna ambush you, and it's just it's really annoying. I'm gonna go up here and deal with them though. Like I'm gonna avoid them. I'm gonna go up this little hill here. And then kill the people over here and then drop down and kill anybody I see over here or on the road. And then keep making my way. I could completely by, uh, bypass this area by uh, stealth boying past uh, Quarry Junction. Which you can do, I have done it before. You can stealth way all the way, eh, I wouldn't say all the way to New Vegas, but you can get pretty damn far. Let's just go ahead and, uh... Didn't have to kill them, but I did it because uh, they, well, they were in the way, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, screw them. We'll lower our perception by taking some healing powder, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to equip that cowboy repeater and replace our varmint rifle for right now. Yeah, I still have no more grenades, which is fine. But I need another rifle. Hey, there's a Building. Oh, I know what building that is. 
That's the Legion safe house. So each faction in this game has a safe house. There's the Followers of the Apocalypse safe house. There's the NCR safe house. There's the Brotherhood of Steel safe house. There's the Legion safe house. You get my point. There's uh, there's a safe house for every major... Well, I wouldn't say every major faction because there's not one for Mr. House. But... Or like the Strip. There's no Strip safe house. Um... But yeah, that's the uh, Legion safe house. He's down. There's still one more. He has a grenade launcher. He probably used all of it. Ow. Let's go ahead and get up in his grill before he can fire another shot. And he got one grenade left. Let's go ahead and equip it. And you can see there's somebody down there. Kobe. Nailed him. I didn't kill him, but I hit them. Ow, they have another. Are you fucking kidding me with this? This is nonsense! Literal fucking nonsense. Do it again, bitch. I don't think it was them. There's also a landmine underneath these, uh... There's uh, traffic cones here, and there's landmines underneath them. Not that one. The, I think it was further down that road. I'm just going to increase my guns because, uh, yeah, I my, my guns is my main damage dealer. He used all his grenades on me. He feels bad, dude. Um... Whoops. Oh my. Frames. I don't know what happened there. Yoink. Bloop. Knife. Uh, well, not knife. Uh, Mentats fixer. I want both of those. We should run into some legion up ahead, but they're not um, going to be hostile unless we wear the NCR faction armor, which I am not wearing right now and I don't plan to wear it yeah here's some legion dogs good boys good doggy here's the wolf horn ranch there's a unique melee weapon in here called chopper it's a unique cleaver it's on the stove in the main building being this one go ahead and show it Right there. Varmint rifle. Ammo box, not bad. Armor locker. Take that and repair my own stuff, and I'll take all that. See, that's what I was saying. Like, if I pick up any leather armor, I can repair my, uh, my lightweight leather armor with it. Now, usually I run into caravan traders across this um, little bridge here on this road. I usually run into uh, traveling merchants. I usually run into two, yep, right here. I think this is scripted. I think you always encounter them here. I've never not encountered them on this road. And if I remember correctly, their inventories are different Either. and they yeah. have separate cap um, counts. Not bad stuff, but nothing I want. One stim pack I'll take. Um, I don't want any of those. I don't want any of that. Yeah, yeah, I forgot there's a katana. <laughs> Dude, I forgot all about the katana. I can't buy that, though. Uh, we don't need this mercenary's grenade rifle anymore. We can get rid of it. The frag grenades as well. How much was that? Oh, shit. Oh, that's like a thousand caps. 
Yeah. I might be able to buy that uh, katana part, actually. 1300 Yeah, give you the rest. Oh, yeah, I can. Holy shit. Hey there. Need any? I want to use the katana. It's been a long time since I've used it. Um, you can have this five millimeter. I'm not using it at the moment. And you can have that and that. All right, let's see what you hey got. Hey there, need anything? Two two three ammo. I don't know anything that uses a two two three. The authentic blade. I just bought that one, didn't I? I believe so. Yeah, the authentic blade. Okay. Just making sure. It's hilarious that they both have it. <laughs> See, but they have different weapons. This one has a plasma pistol and plasma defender. You can have that 308 ammo. I'm not. Uh, I mean, that's actually quite a lot of 308. I shouldn't sell that worth a lot of am uh, money. Uh, you can have the magnum ammo. I'm not using that right now. You can have some of this 10 millimeter. Um, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Do I have any Nuka Colas to give you? No. Anyways, yeah, I forgot to put the uh, barter armor on. I totally forgot about it. There's a legion camp over here. I'm going to quickly run over here and uh, use a stealth boy and free these guys. Um, there's more legion guys right there. So they're not going to be hostile of you just being around them unless they're wearing faction armor of a faction that they hate being NCR and I believe Brotherhood as well um, and if you interact with these guys like just if you just walk up here and you just try to watch yourself profligate degenerates like you belong on a cross Alright, it's fine. We'll just use a stealth boy. Um, I've done it before using a stealth boy um, to free them. You just boop, stealth boy. You get the hidden. You untie them. As long as you are not detected, you're fine. And done. They don't attack them. They just run away. And you're good. See, it's easy. And we got Powder Ganger's fame, which doesn't matter. Um, that's irrelevant. Um... I gotta stop saying um. <laughs> I keep losing my track of my train of thought, and then I just kind of ramble a little bit. Oh, that's weird. The Legion aren't supposed to have stim packs because the Legion don't believe in modern medicine. That's why they only use healing powder and stuff like that. They don't believe in modern medicine. All right, so now we want to make our way to back towards the road. <clears throat> so it's the safest way. If we make our way to the row, that's pretty damn safe. Uh, right here should be more rats, I think. Yeah. I'm not going to fight them. They're more rats. It's not worth it. I was just making sure it wasn't Night Stalkers. Because if it was Night Stalkers, oh boy. I cry. Oh yeah, there's more Viper... Our gang member up here. More gangs. Yeah. 
Yeehaw. Chuckle nuts. Dude came at me with a metal spoon. <clears throat> okay. We want to come over here. Oh, God. Legion guy scared the shit out of me. True to Kaifa. We want to grab this location. Uh. Rip. That's why you save often. And that's why I shouldn't do stuff like that. I realized it too late. I was like, oh, this is more of an overhang than an actual cliffside. See? I couldn't, like, slide my way down. So I tried to do it. And then I did it from, like, right here, and I just fell to the ground. Or it was, like, right there, and I just fell to the ground. If I had kept going, I would have made it. Because I would have been able to go off to the side. Um, if you do come in here, you can find some medical boxes and a safe that is opened. Get some free stuff. Oh, my stealth is gone. You gotta wait for this chuckle fuck to buzz off. There we go. We stole all that. Now you can come in here. Close the door. Go off to the right. Open up this floor safe. Take everything. Leave. You don't get any negative rep with the NCR for doing that. Um, as long as... I think as long as they are not detecting you, um, you're fine. But you do lose karma for doing it. But who cares about karma? Karma's fucking... What, it's irrelevant, pretty much. Um, we're coming up on Novak, and when we get to Novak, we're going to get, there's two missions that we can do Novak. Uh, we're going to grab some stuff before we do one of them. One of the missions is, uh, oh, was I supposed to ask, I was supposed to ask around, uh, mm -hmm. I was supposed to ask around Prim, find out where they were going. I don't really need to do that. You can just go all the way to the strip. The quest also doesn't end until you go to, like, Boulder City. Yeah, be, uh, the They Went That Away uh, quest doesn't end until you go to Boulder City and then you figure out where uh, Benny went. Alright, so we made it to Novak. We're going to go up into the dinosaur and talk to Manny Vargas. He'll give us a quest. And then... Um, <coughs> when we're done with that... We're going to talk to Boone, do his companion quest. I don't want him as a companion. I mean, he's a pretty good companion, but I don't want him with me. It's fine. Uh, go up here, talk to Manny. What's going on, man? Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, they gotta go. Or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Alright. We got our first quest. Um, well, we got our first quest here. And that's to go up to the Repcon facility west of Novak to investigate rumors of ghoul activity. You do not need to do this quest. 
you can go into Manny's room right here. Go to his terminal in the back of his room. And read this. And it tells you that they're making their way to Boulder City, yada, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, you can completely bypass this quest. You do not have to do it. However, you can do it if you want to for experience. Now, there's two things you will need to grab if you want to do this quest. And I recommend grabbing them now because uh, you'd have to go kind of out of your way whenever you're doing this quest um, to grab these things. Because you'd have to leave the area, then come back, then leave the area, then come back, and then you'd return with the items, and then you finish the quest. Um, but if you go grab them now, you don't need to do that. You know what's absolutely hilarious about this is I've seen this dead guy. I've seen him walking around in this area before. Not dead. There's also some dead Legion members here if you want a uh, Legion uniform. Uh, you can pick that up and wear it if you want, but a lot of people will hate you, and Boone will definitely shoot you on sight. Because uh, Boone does no, he no likey Legion. Alright, so the first thing we're looking for is you just head um, east from Novak. You just head east down this road and then start making your way south. And you're going to run into some golden geckos. You might run into one, you might not. Uh, but you're looking for this dead guy right here in the radiation suit. And you need the Isotope 239 agent. You can read his journal if you want. I don't care. Uh, I don't care to read it myself, so I'm not going to. And then we are going to travel back to Novak because it's the fastest. And it can easily set us up for the next area we need to go. Which is uh, north of Novak along this road. I don't know where that guy went. That guy just teleported. I'm gonna pay for this doctor here to heal me. What can I do for you? Need you to heal me. That's not so bad. I'll have you looking as good as new. I mean, what are the chances of me botching another routine procedure in the same day? All right, I'll just get my scalpel here. And uh, did I leave that sitting outside? Well, you know what? Free tetanus shot. What can I do for you? Let's uh, try and buy some supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Oh, she won't take the Legion money. Dude, let me fucking click the buttons, please. Pleasure doing business with you. Right, about five stim packs. That's good. There's also um, there's also uh, two uh, graves over here. I think they're over here. Oh, right here, next to this house. All right, we're good. Moving on. Now we're just gonna head north down this road. Careful. They got spies all over. Yeah, okay. We're looking for this little building right here. Uh, well, what is it called again? The Grims Gibson Scrapyard. And you'll need a lockpick of 50. 
or you're gonna need uh what is it you're gonna need a lockpick of 50 or you're gonna need to pickpocket the key off of this lady here or you could kill her for it but good luck pickpocketing this shit with these dogs Hello. yeah you need that key or if you have a locksmith reader which I don't believe I do actually I don't so you know what I'm sorry to all the dog lovers what was that for? These dogs are fucking tough, dude. Alright, you need to come over here and open this metal box to get the thrust control modules. That's what you need for the quest. Uh, you don't have to kill her. I didn't have a locksmith reader. I wasn't going to go look for one. Um, it's, I, it's just far easier to kill her. And it would have been a lot easier had I just, oh, you know, shot her in the face a few times. It would have been easy. But, yeah. Whatever. She's dead. That's all that matters. You need the thrust control modules and you need the isotope, isotope actually going to stop the video here um, I'm quite tired and I don't want to do this quest right now I'll do it later so I want to thank you very much for watching if you made it all the way to the very end I, I do appreciate it and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next part